Well, today is the summer solstice, which means it's the first official day of summer and the longest day of the year. First alert meteorologist Darren Peck uses 3D technology to illustrate the seasons. Interesting thing to have a solstice and to understand why we're going to bring in the sun and we're going to bring in the earth and it can help a lot to get the big picture idea to understand how this all works together. Everybody knows the Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees in relation to the sun. That tilt never changes, but our location and our trip around the sun does. And those two things working together are why we have seasons. So first, to understand the summer solstice, we got to go back to the winter solstice. This was exactly six months ago, and this is where we were on our trip around the sun at that point. With our 23 and a half degree tilt at that point, that meant that the southern hemisphere was now tilted upward, so the most direct rays of the sun were falling in the southern hemisphere. This is why in Australia, when they celebrate Christmas, it's summer for them, and why when we celebrate Christmas on December 25th, we're in winter. That's the winter solstice, happened on December 21st. Let's bring things ahead now, because you're going to see where we were when we got to spring. This was where we were on the vernal equinox, and we've got to raise the earth up just to kind of see the tilt. Tilt never changed in relation to the sun, but our location did. And now the tilt doesn't matter, because at that point in our journey around the sun, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, neither of them are tilted directly or away because of where we are on the trip. That's an equinox because on that day, everybody gets exactly 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. Let's get to the summer solstice. The tilt stays the same with orientation to the sun, but now we're on the opposite side of the sun on our annual trip around. There's the northern hemisphere. There are the most direct rays, and that was North America right there. Of course, the Tropic of Cancer, which is where the direct rays of the sun fall, are a bit farther south than us. It, it happens at 23 and a half degrees latitude north. That's what's happening on the summer solstice. This is why we now have our season, and we do it on June 21st, or at least we recognize it's happening on June 21st, and this year it happened at exactly 7.58 in the morning, is because that's the point at which on this journey, the tilt just happens to be aligned at its most extreme, so that the sun is at its farthest north and right on that tropic of cancer. Enjoy the summer solstice. And the solstice happened at 7.58 this morning. The Earth's North Pole is the closest it will be to the sun all year. And these hogs are enjoying the extra sunlight. Check out this video taken at the Oakland Zoo. Some hogs there soaking up the sun in the pool.